I found this post from Alex Barashkov where he said that they charged $90,000 for this landing page. So not for the entire application, but only for the landing page. So in this video, we're going to check out how does it look and which technologies are behind this landing page. Here it is. And when you see it for the first time, I gotta say it's really impressive. This beam of light looks really awesome. It's something I haven't seen before on any website. And here on our mouse over, we have a lot of things showing up. We see parts of the app and we can guess what kind of app it is. And check out this button. When I go my mouse over, we have this light which looks really awesome. And if we click it, we're going to create account. We again have that kind of light. This is maybe a good idea for a video for me to create this kind of button. Then the next thing we have here is this image. I would say this is just an image. Yes, so this is showing the app. How does it look? And then this section is really amazing. So here we have these four, let's say divs. I mean, this is so much more than a div. So here, when I go my mouse over, we are literally like working with this div. So we have mouse over here, like we are inside the app, but we are actually not. This is just some kind of component that is changing based on where our mouse is. And same thing here. So here we can see that all the things are moving when we have our mouse over and also here lot of things happening and also this bell icon it's changing the notification number and we have all this like flow like in some kind of water the next section is this video section and this one looks really nice it's just a video and we have a bunch of stuff around the video then we have here oh this one looks really nice so sync with github both ways and we have this background gradient, which is going around the div. And we have this like blue and orange, and it looks really nice. There are all these, I don't know if you see these dots, like this grid behind, which looks really cool. Then we have these features with custom icons, which are looking really nice and going in well with the design. Then here we have, this is just like some Huli Metabrain, some features again to show off. I mean, look at all these details. Check out like these scratches here and all these gradients with those grids. Everything is going so well in this design with that composition. It's really amazing. Then here we have some knowledge at your fingertips, some kind of features to manage projects, documentations, etc. Here we can even control the text inside the landing page and also everything is like in this design you can see also this one it looks really awesome after this we have this code it looks like the same like in vs code then here i don't know if this one is working nope it's not working this is just like to show off and finally we have a footer where we have this cyber clock that is doing i mean only for this component i think it probably took like a month i don't know even how would i create this i don't have an idea right now i could think about it and try to recreate it but it's really impressive like this one here i think that this one is really impressive so that's basically the whole landing page and now we can check what technology is hidden behind this one so the thing I'm using to check the technologies is the extension called Vapalizer. It's free, so you can also download it if you want to try it. And here, when we click on any website, we can see what is used under the hood. So here we can see it's React and Next.js 14.2.2. So it's not 15 yet. They're not using, in that case, React 19. So they're using React 18. And then we can see here that they're definitely using Tailwind, they're using Webpack, and from other things like technologies, we don't have any more information. So I did a little bit of research before creating this video. So I found in the source code, if we go here and go to the source code, 
view page source and here if we use this line wrap we can see all the imports and everything that is used so i found r i v e this one and rive is one super awesome library and here it is and it is used to create animations and all the graphics so basically everything like this they used rive to create these animations so that is one more technology that is used i'm going to leave all the technologies that were used that i found in the description of this video i also went through the comments and found that alex here said that they're creating animations many of them were made with rive so that's the one we saw now then they made in after effects and some natively implemented using react and framer motion library so they're also using framer motion that's also the good information about the technologies behind this website and final question is how long did it take to create a website like this and i found that one also on x so here they asked how much did it take and he said that this project took around four months we started from branding and logo and then moved to the website design design is done in figma animations in after effect blender rive and frame motion were used development next.js tailwind css and that's it tell me in the comments which of these components would you like me to try to recreate please don't say this beam component but i would try this one also and it would be really nice to create some kind of library of components like this like some shed cn style library where we could just pick up and take this kind of component something like a sternity ui overall i would say amazing job from alex and his team and really kudos to these designers and developers and ninety thousand dollars is i think really justified for this kind of project